Hey everyone. So I'm in the classroom and something that um, all the teachers were asking me about, I think it's really very important. So I'm gonna bring this over here. And it was during Bill and um, James training today, they were like, tell me what I did before and then what's gonna happen now. So let's walk through it. Let's really think about this. So before we had the binders. So as ASCE, what we used to do is create binders or in Yvonne and um, Arazu's class, there were about 15 to 16 file cabinets for student paperwork. We're not doing that anymore, okay? So what are we doing now? Now we're gonna use ASAP for all of our grades and our registration. So before, there were lots of little slips like this for enter, remit, there's a little triplicate form. We're not using any of these papers anymore. We're not using any of the grading forms that look like this. That are compiled in folders and binders. We're not using any of these forms anymore. Okay, so what are we doing instead? What does that look like? Well, we're going to go on to ASAP, and in ASAP is a registrar, and students will be able to see what they need and where they will focus on that. And there will be a specific training on this. More training will be coming. You don't need to know that now. What is happening with the file cabinets of all the folders from years and years and years and years ago? Okay, we're not doing that anymore. Okay, what we're going to use is Google Docs and we're going to show students how to create e-portfolios so that once you get your student, um, you'll be able to create a folder in Google Docs and we'll show you how to do that with a student name and you can share that folder with other teachers and the students can create assignments, lessons, um, essays, letters, and they can put it in the folder or they can email you if they prefer to write in handwriting form. They can write it by hand. I know um, Mr. Bell, one of our students, he preferred to do things in a certain way. So if you have a student with AWD, adults with learning difficulties, then what we would need to do is have the student complete the assignment take a picture of that assignment or scan it with an app we call Genius Scan. That's free on their phone. And then they would send it to you and you would go ahead and put it into their e-portfolio on Google Docs. Okay. Contracts. We're not, we are doing this, but it will take the form of Edmentum. So we're not doing it in the traditional way that all those endless amount of course descriptions. What you can do is Edmentum has already done that for you. So what you can go ahead and do is get the course description and you can run a report that will show you all the courses that have been done. Again, this requires more training and Bill and James came and did that already. So Edmentum is a library of reports, a library of reports, okay? And it has all of the standards, it's time-centered and everything that we need. Before we had a bunch of novels from Goodwill and assortment of other schools that were in very poor condition. We're no longer using that. We will be using Burlington Readers, which we purchased with over 5,000 titles. Or some students prefer, you actually need to, for some courses, to hold the book and read it. So together with the counselor, while we are digitally, while we are doing virtual and having class digitally, we will have them make a reservation at the public library where there is a way students can still get novels from the library. And then we have ordered a new batch of novels. Okay, we've, we've ordered those. So those should be here um, in September, okay? All right, the teacher's lounge and resource room where we used to have break have 
coffee, muffins, parties, and different things. We're not allowed to do that during COVID times anymore. We can't do any shared activities, sharing paper, sharing food, sharing drinks. None of that can happen for the foreseeable future. So instead, we have the online Teachers Lounge website, which will host a variety of things like teachers' forms for supplies, books, teacher books that you might need at your home. If students need a workbook for ventures or another kind of system, what we could do is have a drive through and we would give you or the students um, workbooks, okay? The physical classroom, we no longer will be using the physical classroom. Instead, we will be using Canvas. So you should think of Canvas as a learning management system. The classroom is a learning management system when you're allowed to be physically in the room, okay? So instead, we will give students assignments on Edmentum or Canvas, and then when we meet them in Zoom, we will take a look at their data and see where they were struggling and places they need more help and be able to help them. Canvas is really being used for announcements in the class, discussions, supplemental lessons for modules, subject-specific extra help, you can have extra assignments like they're writing a five-paragraph essay or just writing a paragraph, or they're learning to write a letter, different things. And of course, we have the rubrics and the scan activity. That's what we're using Canvas for. Okay. When you're on Canvas, of course, of course, Canvas, people have used the word shell. Canvas just means that there's an empty class that we created for you, and we're calling it ABE or ASE. But technically, that is your ABE classroom. That's your classroom. It's online. Canvas is going to manage your classroom. So if I'm creating my modules, I'm going to create one for English. If I'm doing a module for English 1, AB, great. Do I need English 2 AB? Sure, I can do that too. English 3, sure, I can do that too. Anything I'm not using, if I'm not using a certain module, there is a feature in Canvas which lets me hide. I can hide this module. So if, I'm, if I don't have any students who need social studies one semester, I'm going to go ahead and hide this. There's a feature here. So I can have many modules prepared. Someone has already done that. It's Arazu. And then she actually shared it to comments so that anyone in Metro Ed would be able to find her unit that she pre-prepared for us. So anyone who's creating this and they're doing different things to supplement, if you're using Edpuzzle or if you found a really cool um, Khan Academy lesson, just go ahead and share that with everybody or you can share that module to comments. So if anyone else searches, I need a module in the American Revolution then I could just go to comments and import that and, and I would adapt that, of course. Sometimes there's another teacher who does something very specific in their module. Go ahead and edit, of course. Look through their module, delete some assignments, change the name. That's what comments is for, that folks have already created something for you and you go ahead and change it and adapt it, okay? So Canvas is your classroom. The course, the contracts are done through Edmentum. The library is Burlington, where you have tons and tons of books to read about all kinds of things. So all of these things require additional training and practice. As I told um, Bill and Arzu and uh, James, so far those are the people who've had one-on-one -on -one training. I've told them, chunk it in your mind. Don't try to plan for the entire school year. Try to think inside your mind of two weeks. Can I get two weeks of curriculum planned out? Obviously, planning for a whole school year is going to be too much. Go 
But what I should be doing is planning ahead for two weeks. Okay. Now, how does school work now? How do we do school? What does it look like now? How does it work inside my brain? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, and it might be a little difficult for you to see my teeny writing over here, but I haven't typed it up yet. I will. So the same thing that always happened is happening right now for the next three weeks, just so you know. Okay. So from now, July 25th through August 20th, we are doing intensive classes, training, and registration, just like we have always done every school year. Then students will be put into a prerequisite class for a week. And in there, they will be doing the tech agreement. They will be doing a little module of COVID training. They will be doing, they will be getting a Canvas email. They will be getting an Edmentum student logon. Okay and they will be getting a Burlington logon, okay? So all of these do's and don'ts of how to do school, like conduct, the code of conduct, um, we really want that to be universal for the school. So we're gonna include it in the prerequisite class, and this is going to be run by the transitional specialist and the ABE counselor and admin. We're gonna be running that, okay? So then they get put into your class. You get an email with a PDF of a student, and that's from your counselor, from the ASAP. You'll say you're getting a new student, just like always, you know, Deborah, Helen, Angela. Someone will send you an email and say, this is their information. No paper exchange will be happening. So you have to really do a mind shift to understand that that's what's going to happen, okay? And then just like always, you're going to create an ILP, the individual learning plan, because all of our adults are at different spots, right? And then you're going to need to add the student to the courses they need in Edmentum. And this is really your springboard. That's what you're going to be doing. That's your starting spot, right? So if I come really close and I lift this up since I have a laptop and I have some technology, it's a good way to teach, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add them to Edmentum. So if they need geometry and they need history, I'm gonna add them to that. They're gonna work through asynchronously, which means in their own time, right? And then you will create assignments to supplement as needed in Canvas. So if they work through this, you're gonna assign them different things in Canvas, right? Because that's your classroom. That's what you would do normally that you would have supplemental textbooks ready in the classroom, okay? So the next thing to chronicle all of their work is to create a folder of students, an e-portfolio in Google Docs. This replaces the file cabinets in the rooms. So we're going to be keeping all of these online. So teachers will create a folder, they will share it with the student, and the student will understand that I will dump all my work into that folder. Okay. All right. If you need any lessons in that, Drew will be giving Google Doc ePortfolio training. This will be another training. Okay. And then what you need to do to keep all of this in your head and see where your students are at and what they've completed, you can create an Excel sheet in Google Sheets for each student to monitor where assignments are and what, they're, what they need getting done as they're getting it done. So how you wanna set this up and, and what you need to do, I gave an example of that and I shared it with um, Bill and James, but it really depends on how you do your grading and where you would like to keep it. Obviously keeping it in the world of paper is no longer acceptable. We have to digitize everything and it needs to have some transparency and sharing. So then all of these would be shared with administration so that we could have transparency as to what you're doing. Okay? These would be shared docs, okay? So all of these notes of how we're doing school and how school works now will be uploaded so that you'll be able to um, 
have a better understanding of how all the pieces of this puzzle kind of work together. Now, you don't want to forget, right? You, you definitely don't want to forget our good friend uh, ASAP and TOPS. <laughs> so our good friend ASAP and TOPS and something else called IC or Infinite Campus. Okay. These are attendance. These are things that take attendance and they chronicle grades. So they're grades and attendance. Okay, so we do have lots of different tools in our tool bag now. We have a lot of different tools. Some of those are replacing the actual classroom and that would be Canvas. Okay, so when you hear somebody saying Canvas shell, just think the word shell is replacing the actual brick and mortar of the ceiling. It's actually creating a classroom online, right? Edmentum is our actual course. This is our coursework. And also there are tests in there where you're taking all of your benchmark tests. The library books will be on Burlington. And also Burlington has a lot of other features that in addition to that, the ESL are using those features as well, but your students won't be using them. ASAP and TOPS are data collection for our standardized testing. And these help us keep track of grading and attendance. What we will be doing is taking Edmentum reports and putting those into Google Docs that chronicle our hours and then you'll be giving grades into ASAP, okay? You will be entering the grades. Again, all of these things are just a little bit of a shift. It's what we've been using anyway, but that's how we're doing school. It's how school is changing, okay? Thank you. More trainings coming, so be confident, okay? Hang in there.